I have some really good feelings about this orange steel twisted splitting wedge. And today, we're gonna test it out. All right, friends, so right here is the mall, and it comes in a really nice case. It's a transport box, it's also how it's labeled. It twists in there really nice, so it's locked in. Just a nice plastic. And I'll just read a couple quick things on here. Twisted splitting wedge, general safety instructions. We recommend to wear protective clothing when working with the Halder twisted splitting wedge. For example, safety goggles, protective gloves. When striking the Halder twisted splitting wedge, maintain an adequate safety distance to other persons and objects. Only use the Halder twisted splitting wedge for its intended purpose. Do not use a steel hammer to hit the Halder twisted splitting wedge. This can cause the tool to chip, which may lead to serious accidents. Okay, let's take a closer look at this. It's a splitting wedge that is specifically designed, grooves and recessed for smoother use. I don't know if you can see that. That'll help keep it from getting stuck. This right here is called the guide groove. Has a sharp point, factory sharp. So you can see it's equal on both sides, so that's what they call a chamfer cutting edge. So as you can see, the design is twisted by 20 degrees. So as it goes into the wood, this will start to twist, and those corners right there will start to push out and that will split the wood faster and keep this from getting stuck. I've had some other ones that don't have a twist like that to it and those things get stuck very easy. So I'm thinking this right here is gonna be the optimum. That's what I read, 20 degrees for splitting. So it should go in and penetrate pretty fast and it should start splitting. So I'm very excited to test this out in a minute. A couple other specs I wanna mention. It's 10.2 inches overall and it's 6.75 pounds. In the Hulder catalog, this particular item right here is described as efficient and simple splitting of firewood. And that's what I'm hoping for. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take some big rounds off the wood pile and put them around the chopping block and then we're gonna test this out. So I'm ready to scuff up the paint on this. So two important things, eye protection and gloves. Zoom out just a little bit so you can see what's going on. All right, so the wedge is kind of like driving a nail. So you have to find some type of a crack to get that started and then just keep hammering like a nail straight into it. So it's really designed for some of the big gnarly pieces, which we'll probably get to. But for now, we're gonna start off with some simpler pieces like this right here, it's a piece of silver maple. So the other important thing is to use a halter axe or maul that has this type of striking face to it. All right, first hit, right there. You got a big split this way, that way, and it's also wanting to split that way as well, too. All right. Then when you get into manageable pieces, that's when you use your ax or your maul. But if you wanna, you know, some people have commented on some forums, they just like to use this all the time, so. Let's uh, split this again. There we go, nice piece of firewood right there. Here's a longer piece, a little wider in diameter. All right, here we go. Nice. 
All right, so one of the things I learned speaking with Mike from the hauler company, he mentioned that some of the first initial strikes that you get, this will deform a bit, but then it'll kind of hold where it's at and then stay like that. So this should last a really long time before you ever need to replace it again. And when you do, you just use a large size wrench and this comes apart and you can get another insert for it. All right, here is a piece of elm. Let's see. I believe this is Siberian elm. All right. This is definitely tougher than the maple. The silver maple. There we go. A little stringy. There we go. All right, you can see the grain pattern going on there. A little challenging. Here is a great candidate. See the bottom, a little knot off the side. I'm gonna try to split it right up here, going that way. Yeah, going that way right there. Let's uh, find go this crack, get it started. Now sometimes it's nice to take your chainsaw and just score a little groove, then it'll give you a starting point. I don't always do that, but once in a while it's kind of like my cheater method. This is tall, so it's kind of rocking a lot. But it's going. Right from over here. Sometimes it's hard to get it to drive in straight. I'm going at a little bit of an angle. I hear it splitting. Opening it up, here we go. All right, one solid hit, ready? There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at that. I gotta find one more challenging piece. This is a big round, it's not as tall but it's big and round. So, we got a nice line crack going that way. Let's see if we can go right here. Oh yeah. Looks like one or two more hits. Yeah, right down the middle. So my overall thoughts, this held up very well. I like the way that it twisted as you're hitting it in. You can hear it just continuing to crack and open up the wood. And then this right here, the, the mallet end is very nice. It's safe. You don't have that loud noise or that annoying vibration when you hit steel on steel, which is dangerous. So this is the safest route to go. And I like the weight of this. I think I haven't tried hitting the Halder ax with this, but this is definitely heavier, the mall. So I think you're gonna wanna consider something heavier like that for pounding in this wedge right here. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. If you found this video interesting or informative or useful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.
All right, if you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And also, to see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, enjoy.